Scientists, including those of Indian origin, have built a new 3D chip using carbon nanotubes that can store and process massive amounts of data, paving the way for smaller, faster and more energy-efficient devices. Welcome back to Catnip and today we present you an incredible tech that can now manufacture nanotech devices. So come on, let's learn together. <laughs> Computers today comprise different chips cobbled together. There is a chip for computing and a separate chip for data storage and the connections between the two are limited. As applications analyze increasingly massive volumes of data, the limited rate at which data can be moved between different chips is creating a critical communication bottleneck. With limited real estate on the chip, there is not enough room to place them side by side even as they have been miniaturized, a phenomenon known as Moore's Law. To make to make matters worse, the underlying devices, transistors made from silicons, are no longer improving at the historic rate that they have for decades. The new prototype chip developed by researchers at Stanford University and Massachusetts Institute of Technology or MIT as popularly known in the US is a radical change from today's chips. It uses multiple nanotechnologies together with a new computer architecture to reverse both of these trends. Instead of relying on silicon based devices, the chip uses carbon nanotubes which are sheets of 2D graphene formed into nano cylinders and resistive random access memory or RAM cells, a type of non volatile memory that operates by changing the resistance of a solid dielectric material. The researchers including Subhashish Mitra and Krishna Saraswat from Stanford integrated over 1 million RAM cells and 2 million carbon nanotube field effect transistors making the most complex nanoelectronic system ever made with emerging nanotechnologies. The RAM and carbon nanotubes are built vertically over one another making a new dense 3D computer architecture with interleaving layers of logic and memory. By inserting ultra-dense wires between these layers, this 3D architecture promises to address the communication bottleneck. However, such an architecture is not possible with existing silicon-based technology according to Max Schulaker from MIT. Circuits today are 2D since building conventional silicon transistors involves extremely high temperatures of over 1000 degrees Celsius, said Schulaker. If you then build a second layer of silicon circuits on top, that high temperature will damage the bottom layer of circuits. The key in this work is that the carbon nanotube circuits and RAM memory can be fabricated at much lower temperatures below 200 degrees Celsius. This means they can be built up in layers without harming the circuits beneath, he added. This provides several simultaneous benefits for future computing systems. The devices are better. Logic made from carbon nanotubes can be an order of magnitude more energy efficient compared to today's logic made from silicon. And similarly, RAM can be denser, faster and more energy efficient compared to DRAM, referring to a conventional memory known as dynamic random access memory. So that's it. We hope you liked the video and if you really did, please leave us a like below. A million thanks to our subscribers for their continuous support. And if you aren't yet part of the family, come join us by clicking the subscribe button below. And until next time, don't forget to get high in life.